All right, so let's see now if this movie is worth all the hype. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for A Star is Born. I really do appreciate it. Now, this film, A Star is Born, is a remake of the 1937 original film of the same name, which I have not seen. And actually, this is the fourth film that is being remade by the same title. Um, the th interesting thing is the past three films, one of the main protagonists in the film, uh, which Bradley Cooper is playing in this new age one in 2018, his name was Norman, but in this film here, uh, his name is Jack. So that's one of the differences that I noticed when I was trying to look up some information and Bradley Cooper is the writer and director of this film um, this is also his directorial debut and I'll just go ahead and say that he did a damn good job you know he actually said in the past that he wanted to get into directing before acting but sometimes things just don't work out the way that we plan but you know of course he's a great actor and I can now say that he is a great director uh, or at least based on this film. Um, now, there has been a lot of buzz with this film right here. Um, it debuted at a, I think it was the Venice Film Festival earlier this year in August 13, August 31st of this year. Um, after the film play, after it finished, you know, they got a Bradley Cooper, Lady Gaga, they got a standing ovation for about eight minutes. And there's been so much Oscar buzz around this film just saying, you know, how great the performances is and, you know, all that good stuff. And it is going to get some Oscar Oscar recognition. And I will go ahead and say that I do agree with that. Uh, I'll just go ahead and say that this is a fantastic film. It's a beautiful film. Um, I would be pr pretty surprised if it did not get any type of Oscar no nominations or even win. But why? Not only because it's a great story, but we have some great performances by both Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga herself. Now, I am not necessarily a Lady Gaga fan. I don't have anything against her. But I can say that after watching this movie right here, I am a fan of Lady Gaga. I mean, she did a great job singing on stage, on screen, and she did a great job performing. And this movie right here is going to make me want to pay attention to her work uh, going on now in the future. But like, why is this movie good to me? Why is it so great? Uh, like I said, it's a great story. It's full of passion and emotions. And I'm just really fond of like where the film focus, what it's about is um, Bradley Cooper's character, uh, Jack, he is a seasoned music, uh, musician. Uh, he has some alcohol and drug problems, um, that he's dealing with, you know, but he's still, you know, a fantastic musician. And, you know, just by, you know, going around the block or by look or however you want to say it, he runs into Lady Gaga's character by the name of Allie. And, you know, he just sees something in her and just wants her to reach these these heights. You know, he wants her to reach these goals of being, you know, the best new song writer slash musician. And he's just kind of helping her along the way. Now, this film right here could have uh, copied on a lot of the cliche tropes. Uh, you know, three act structure of a film to where, you know, you see the rise and the fall of, you know, a said actor or actress or, you know, performer, musician or something like that. And how it focuses on, you know, how they try to, you know, go into the media and try to cater to everyone and become like the next best pop star and things like that. And how it tears them down, you know, on the inside out and things like that. No, this film didn't really focus on that at all. What it, it focused on was the characters themselves and their relationship and, you know, just kind of how they dealt with things. And I, I was just about to give a spoiler but I don't uh, I don't want to do that but you know the song choices in this film right here are just beautiful I mean they really had a lot of weight to them and meaning and you felt it when you know they were singing on stage and Lady Gaga also said in the past interview that she is tired of looking at movies to where the actors or actresses are trying to pretend and lip sync with the real songs and they really just don't do a great job of that and of course she would have a great eye because she is a real life you know recording artist so she kind of knows her stuff she knows her lane as far as that's concerned so her and Bradley Cooper did get together and practice singing live on stage you know off camera and on camera 
And, you know, their practice paid off because they just made a great duet on screen, on stage. And, you know, I just thought it was really fantastic. Um, Bradley Cooper also said himself in a couple of interviews that he took uh, singing for granted because he just really did not know how difficult it was. But he did take some voice um, acting, not voice acting, but voice lessons just to, you know, really hit the nail uh, down center home, you know, to give a great performance. But, you know, um, like I said, the film didn't focus on all that extra crap. It really focused on their relationships and the demons that they have to deal with. And, you know, when we're with me, a regular consumer, a regular person or whatever, when we see Beyonce or Lil Wayne or Lady Gaga or whoever the hell that is performing, whether they're on a movie screen, a TV show, a recording artist or whatever, we got to put them on a pedestal that they're just like the perfect being and they have their life together and just there's nothing wrong. And they just wake up every day, freshly bathed, don't even have to wipe under their arms or put on deodorant. And this is, everything is just, you know, great and wonderful for them. But no, this film right here kind of just takes it, uh, gives you a different perspective, perspective of their life and just kind of shows you, you know, everything that, you know, these normal people, you know, have to deal with. There was even a couple of scenes to where, you know, like it's kind of rude to where when you see a celebrity, you kind of just jump all in their face like, hey, can I take a picture? Can I take a picture? Yada yada. I mean, they you know, like they just want to eat their hamburger and fries too, or what, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody else, they don't want to be bothered. And the film kind of dealt with that, and I I, I like the way that uh, they dealt with that. <laughs> I kind of said that back to back. Another thing that was just kind of fascinating to me is just like their relationship, and um, you know, just kind of how they handle just certain situations that you know they had to go through and like different hardships and things like that and one of the things that spoke to me the most when I was watching this film is in something that I can relate to something that I dealt with going up is always worrying about what other people think of you and that you shouldn't do that it's just really none of your business you know do your thing don't worry about what other people think and if you really have if you truly really just have somebody that's down for you like a down ass chick or a down ass dude or, or, or whatever you know what I'm saying that just have has your back no matter what there's your support system right there that's all you have to worry about as far as somebody worrying about you all the other stuff is just you know random noise that you can you know just let go through one ear and out the other and you know this film really put that on the forefront but it was a beautiful film um great performances great acting great singing great passion great emotion um i didn't tear up or anything like that when i was watching it but i can hear all the sniffles and you know runny noses and all that when the theater when i was watching it people were just getting really emotional and so i really do recommend you see this film it's I, I, like i said it's fantastic it's just a beautiful film on so many levels and i would really be surprised if it did not get any type of oscar attention if i had to rate a star is born out of a one out of ten i would give this a 9.5 out of 10 yes a 9.5 out of 10 but guys that is just my opinion have you seen the stars born or do you want to see it have i turned you on have i turned you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know down in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up and if you don't that's fine but you can still subscribe to my channel and please subscribe to my channel guys I would like to hit my goal at the end of this year of reaching 10,000 subscribers and I can only do that by your help by subscribing to my channel and also sharing this video with your friends and family. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review of A Star is born and before you go don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my pen. Peace.